The song you're about to hear was written by a maniac, a self-described baseball maniac. The Wiz Kids had won it, Bobby Thompson had done it, and Yogi read the comics all. It's called Talkin' Baseball, a nostalgic throwback to another time. But it's as much about the way America used to be as it is about the way baseball used to be. Talking baseball, Klazuski, Campanella, talking baseball, the man and Bobby Feller. This, the song depicts a time, of, a simpler time, a happier time when uh, guys just went out there and played baseball because they loved baseball. Singer, songwriter, baseball fanatic Terry Cashman wrote the song last year in just 20 minutes. It was a tribute to the 50s, but it's not the 50s anymore. Baseball has expanded, salaries have exploded, and there are as many agents, free agents, and renegotiated contracts as there are ground balls to short. So if baseball has become bigger business, Terry Cashman wants to cash in too. So I set out over the winter to write a song for virtually every team. How many songs have you written? 20. Uh, how many? 20 songs. <laughs> Talking baseball Forever Dodger Blue That's the one you'll hear if you live in Los Angeles. And he's got one for Indians fans and Reds fans and Braves fans and Cubs fans and Tiger fans. I'm talking baseball, the Motor City team. And for Cardinals fans. I'm talking baseball, baseball in St. Louis. And for Red Sox fans. I'm talking baseball. Baseball and the socks. I do every one of them just about just about the same. Only the names and the uh, incidents change. <laughs> and there's one for Phillies fans and for Ranger fans, Orioles fans, Yankee fans. In pinstripe tradition, the bomber's only mission is to wind up in the classic in the fall. And for Giants fans. Then in 58, the Golden Gates, all the Giants marching in. I'm talking baby. And he's got one for uh, Brewers fans and Pirates fans and Mets fans and Astros fans and Royals fans. I hope we make $10 million on it. I mean, I have no qualms about that. And why should he? After all, Cashman is talking baseball. They knew them all from Boston to Dubuque, especially with. Mickey and the Duke. Bernard Goldberg, CBS News, New York.